face space, the face space website as a resource in general. Um, before diving into the, the deeper uh, data submission tasks. Uh, so this is the homepage, and I'm sure most of you are pretty familiar with this. Um, right at the top, we feature these links that um, are basically uh, queries that will take you directly into the data browser. And they're just simple uh, uh, divisions by uh, model organism, uh, different experiment types. So if, for example, you take one of these uh, links, this will take you over to the data browser. And this is a, a basic um, search page where you have the search results here. And then you have the faceting sidebar here, the filtering sidebar. And because uh, we used that link, there are these two filters that are already uh, 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 chosen for you. So we have mouse and then we have imaging assay. And as you can see, you can click through and, you know, change your mind, adjust your query, um, go through uh, state, age stage, anatomical region, genotype, phenotype, etc. And um, just a couple of features, you can actually uh, type text across all the visible columns here, which in this case uh, would uh, the most useful one is the title, or you could um, if you choose, you know try to uh, filter through the projects that way as well. But if you typed micro CT, this would uh, narrow down the results down to um, those dealing with micro CT, which we have quite a few. Um, in order to see one of the data sets, you just click this view icon. And the top of the page will focus on a summary of the metadata, the related metadata. And with uh, related data uh, appears below. And on this side here is um, kind of a table of contents for um, the content on the page. And this, uh, is it what it's in? It's been a little, a little creaky today. Here's a 3D surface model. So this is a fun little model um, that you can manipulate right in the browser and you know dive in deep there. But going back, um, let me see. There was one other kind of data set I wanted to show in particular. This is a sequencing data set from the Vizzel, Axel Vizzel's lab. Um, and we'll see if it's working today. We are having some issues, but um, we integrate the genome browser from uh, the UCSE genome browser. So it's, we're having a technical issue with uh, successfully pulling in uh, the full uh, genome browser visualization. Uh, but what I can show you is we have a little screenshot. So. It's being fixed at this moment, but this is what it would look like. So, um, and this is a process that's run nightly. Um, so it dynamically um, updates uh, with uh, custom track hubs uh, right within the data set page. And going back to the home page. Uh, we also have this video tutorial, which is in the middle of uh, being updated, but this gives you a walkthrough of the um, data browser as well and what you can do with it. Uh, here's a little call to submit data, which I'm sure you're uh, familiar with. And if not, when you do submit, submit data, this link will take you to your first step, uh, which is um, the description of the data process, uh, what the requirements are, and uh, a link to the form to actually submit the data that you'd like um, to add to our website for review, which um, Rob will talk more about. But we wanted to uh, focus a little on the mouse data summary, which you can uh, find here, but I actually prefer to grab it on its own page, which is available from the resources part of the navigation here. 
So this is a dynamic rendering of all of our mouse data and it actually goes a bit horizontally because uh, this axis is all the anatomical regions, which we have many represented here, and embryonic age stage. And what we have in the middle is a representation of the experiment types um, available at each uh, conjunction there. So we have um, all the different experiment types here, color coordinated. And you could actually, if you just wanted to see all the OPT, for example, you could click that and it would go to that query. Um, but here you can see there are many that have multiple uh, data types available at genital tubercle, for example. And this will take you right there directly to the data sets. And of course, you can use the filtering sidebar to filter or change your mind um, and uh, choose your own adventure, as they say. And let's see, the resources hub in general, we have, we pull some of the featured ones right here um, on, on this navigation uh, column, but uh, the resources hub itself collects everything together so you can explore various uh, re references that we have aside from uh, the data repository itself and uh, including some of our um, uh, custom track hubs available on the UCSC genome browser. We have the 3D facial norms database, which um, is a very uh, popular comprehensive uh, uh, collection of, uh, as it says here, anthrop anthropometric, I was a problem with that word, normative data. Uh, one of the options here that's fun is the mouse skull fly through video, which as you can see, flies you through the mouse skull. Hopefully. That used to have a different uh, soundtrack that was a, li a little more peppy, but we had royalty rights, so we had to. So Young found this this wonderful um, soundtrack instead. But um, another uh, good reference is the mouse anatomy. So this provides um, uh, different views going across age stages with the different regions of color quoted and you can walk through them. And see the development. And there's some uh, illustrations down here of cell lineage lineages provided by the Chai Lab. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. And uh, under here, data browser, you can go directly to the data sets, all mouse, all human, and filter down from there. At the experiment level, bio samples. Gene summaries is uh, a really interesting resource. So um, across these genes, you'll find different information. So for BMP4, this provides some reference images across these age stages, illustrations of gene expression in the secondary palette, color, co uh, color coded. And um, and, and some of them also have reference, uh, references to human, corresponding human data as well. And such as uh, this one. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out to you before we start uh, going right into the data submission nitty gritty is uh, our citation feature here. So on every data set page, is this button here all the way to the right called share and cite. And when you click this, not only will it provide you um, these uh, live links, or these links that include um, our unique uh, record identifier, and um, but what's more interesting is the data citation here. 
So every data set has its own DOI, a permanent identifier that's always guaranteed to work. And this works just like a citation in a journal. Um, and so we ask when people cite uh, face-based data, if you cite um, uh, in a paper data that you've uh, used for that paper, uh, to please uh, use this feature to cite um, ex uh, specific data sets that you've used. Uh, and you can also download the data citation in bib text format here. You can find information about our data access policies, basically what's considered open access and what's uh, considered uh, restricted access, which is mostly identifiable uh, human data. Um, how to request data access to the restricted access data, and uh, this how to cite us page, which, um, as I described, using the share and cite feature to cite specific data sets, and also how to cite FaceBase as a resource. And that's pretty much what I wanted to go over there. Any questions? Okay, great. Then uh, Rob, I think I'll hand it over 